details right now other than they said it's black in color it's missing a front and rear wheel and it's over 50 feet off the roadway other than that i don't really know too much else about it um, i believe it's off of the uh, main highway here so it sounds like there may have been some speed involved i don't know if it's a multi-vehicle or single vehicle accident so uh, we're going to be figuring it out kind of as we go so we're heading that way we'll see what we got here in a few minutes thanks for watching guys all right we are pulling up here See the taillights there, it's probably not too terribly far off the road. Yeah, that might just jump on the shoulder of the road. 16, 13, show me in room. Yeah, it looks like the driver, one of the occupants, is out of it. yours? That one's mine. Did you see the other one car down there too? Uh, which the one that's on the side of the road down there? Yeah. Is that? That's the person that hit me. That's the one that hit you? Mm. Okay, I was gonna ask you, um, mm -hmm. I didn't have a ride home and I live in Freeport. Okay. Um, Please. I'm not going all the way to Freeport. Our, there are central yards here in Angleton, so I'm not going that far. Central um, yard. It's just r literally just right here in, in uh, Angleton. Morning. <laughs> Got something you need me to sign? Yeah. Right there. Bottom here. Sign on the dotted line. Yeah, right. Same yard number. Yard. Uh, 701 South Alaska is the our central yard. Yes, I'll put where the address is at. The, uh, for the other, other yard? It don't really, that, it don't really matter. Alright, cool. But, uh... You got everything out of the car you need. No, I need to go get it. Yeah, grab. Yeah, grab what you grab, need. Grab what you need in the meantime. Yeah, they said it was missing. Yeah, that's right. They just said there was a and missing the wheel. Off. Okay, so this one's off. Yeah, yep. Hmm. Okay. All right. Grounds look like out here. Not too bad. Okay, I'll probably pull out right here and load it up. Yeah, it's pretty hard out here. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty solid right now. So, cool. Let me uh, let me pull in here real quick. anything there for it to be hung up on the ground seems pretty solid so thankfully we haven't uh, say thankfully we uh, haven't had too much rain recently so this should work in our favor fortunately we do need quite a bit of rain most of the uh, area has been in a burn ban for quite some time because of the lack of rain. That should work there, I believe. Flashlight, grab my neck light. Thank you. 
tank. I'll put it in the cab. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm sure I'd... Car is still running. Okay. It so I'm guessing it yeah. won't turn off? Okay. It's in neutral, that's why. Is the, the keys in it no, somewhere? It's parked, but it won't. Here's the keys right here. Okay, yeah, I'll need those. I've got it if uh, I'm off the roadway saying like I'm going to need a lane blocked or nothing. So I should have it from here. I know y'all are busy. <laughs> the, the, air, <laughs> the air sounded pretty busy on the way here. So yeah. if you need to roll, I got it from here. Oh, man, yes, sir. Thank you. some stuff the other day and uh, I ended up putting my blocks up I'm going to stack a couple of these here Maybe I can get a better bite on it Underneath of it, but it allows me to get it up and get a better bite here. Seems it's got heavy suspension damage all over this one. The uh, wheel is all sucked up into the wheel well there. Have it hooked on both sides there. I won't really matter on this one because of all the wheels missing. It's in neutral. Parking brake is off. Not that it really matters at this point. 
It'll have a little bit less resistance. It's rolling. Seems like it's rolling up for us. Grab my block so nothing catches. Toss these up here for a second. Close this before I forget. I'm gonna just step onto the other side here. Make sure there's nothing grabbing or catching when this corner comes up since this is the next problem area. Looks like it's rolling on up. Right. There's going to be a few people that want to talk about the deputy leaving. At this point here, we're not really in a bad spot. We are way off of the roadway. So there's no real need for a him to uh, sit here and watch me work obviously we are way off of the roadway there's no need for him to hang around if they're busy which going off the scanner on the way here they are very busy tonight Huh. They, uh, there was a vehicle parked on the shoulder of the roadway way down there and uh, they said that I guess that was the vehicle that struck her I don't know how exactly that plays into effect normally they tow those tow the vehicle we can get a strap through here right here on this tow point right here inside the wheel well or something this back so it doesn't want to fly away going down the road debris off the bed Thing back behind it there is quite a bit of like fender liner and stuff jammed back in the wheel well there
a mess of fender liner and everything else back in there because of all the suspension damage that wheel is all shoved up inside the wheel well grab one of my mini J straps find something in the frame to, uh, to get but <coughs> this works just as good here and this one obviously the uh, driver seemed to be okay she didn't seem to be hurt in any way, which is good. There's quite a bit of damage here. Could have very easily been injured. Tired too to secure that bumper. Oh, hey. Hey. Didn't know you was in there. Let me, uh, I need to grab my tool bag right here underneath you. It's underneath you? Yes, ma'am. Wait, I, I didn't want to be out there with the bug. Yeah, well, I didn't, uh, I wasn't expecting it. Let me uh, close this real quick. Huh. Was not expecting that. Let's me. Getting this in here. The wind hold it, I suppose. All right, got this loaded up. Let's get out of here and uh, get this thing to the yard. Got all your stuff out. Yeah, there's a car there. Flop this back up on here. It should be. Once they uh, get you a copy of that, it should, should all be on there. Uh, that uh, that 701 South Alaska address, that's where it's going, right there. All right, central Yeah, just have him uh, give our dispatchers a call, that same number there on the side, or that one on the card there, uh, and then they can uh, let him get his stuff out of it and all that. All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You have a good rest of your evening. Thank you, sir. Uh-huh. All right. Got her dropped off here at Bucky's. So her uh, central yard is kind of... It's just an empty parking lot, so I didn't want to just drop her off there. Uh, 
our insurance only covers them to ride when they're accompanying their vehicles. So dropped her off here so she's in a safe spot. Her son's gonna come and pick her up. We are heading to the yard to get this thing unloaded. Okay, we are back at the central yard. Get this thing unloaded here. We got the customer dropped off at Bucky's right down the road so that she can be somewhere safe instead of just leaving her out here in this empty parking lot while she waits for a ride. I call that good. I'm expecting this thing's not going to roll off too well with two missing wheels. Guardian Angel turned on. Found the neck light. Grab my remote. Well, I don't think I'm gonna need it for too long. She explained on the way back from the accident scene there, she said she was traveling southbound on the highway. Somebody struck her and uh, sent her spinning through the center median where she eventually stopped right there in the northbound lane. Said that uh, whoever it was didn't stop. She did say that I think they ended up catching the person, but I didn't see anybody else down there. that one parked vehicle way down the road which doesn't make any sense in her story but okay. end up running the remote from this side. personally quite understand how this is the work of another vehicle. Don't see any paint transfer or anything. It's just quite interesting. Thinking about it, I also didn't see any missing wheels laying anywhere. This car has an electric parking brake. Should be 
front wheel drive. I'm assuming it's going to, uh, the front should roll fine, even in park. The uh, one remaining rear wheel should be locked up with the parking brake. So we will get that released real quick. Slide on down. It looks like it should only go right to the end of the bed there. Which is expected. I'm going to grab a wood block to put in front of that one wheel here just in case it wants to slide it has something to chalk it From here I'm going to pull pull the bed out from underneath it walk my truck forward using the hydraulics. My dispatcher. Well, yeah, I'm unloading right now. Why was that? White Ford Ranger. Yeah, I heard it. Um, I would see if they're closer because I'm still unloading this one, so I gotta do all the paperwork and stuff. So if they're, if one of them are closer, they'd probably be a little bit quicker than I am. All right. Uh huh. All right. Another police rotation. It's just an arrest. So I am going to. Get it uh, engaged again. Move my block. So I pulled my bed all the way into the edge of the tire. It's not going to stop it there because that one side wants to free spin. here to stop it if I can I'm gonna try to push the whole car forward a little bit that way it's not so out in the way Free spool there. Good. So now I should be able to pull my bed right back out from underneath it. It's a little bit better spot. Get forward one more time. Get my hooks off over here.
ahead. If I can reach over there. Go. Back over here so I can re-engage the winch. My bed laid down here. So you gotta finish up all the impound paperwork and all that. Might have to go run another rotation. If the other drivers don't answer the phone. Gonna get this finished up. Be ready for whatever we get called for next. Thanks for watching guys.